welcome to neutral side action and we're just about ready for kickoff. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Wisconsin lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They try the right side. Brought down around the 27-yard line. That makes it six and eight. a great tackle the 37 yard line good pitch and catch there on second down yep it was good enough to get him the first down that's just a nice play here he goes nice run and he's brought down seven yard scamper on the keeper Some open field and he's taken down at about the 47 yard line he kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback good tackle there in space Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Flips it, middle to the running back. Knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. So the Badgers and their coaching staff are just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. That's a deep run on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Yo, only go one. You guys give me it. Pick up the ball. Another game. He's going to be wrestled down for a loss. That is a loss of five. That makes it so much better. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 45. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Blue 14. Blue 14. Quick throw, incomplete. One of receiver. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. And he's tackled the 36-yard line. He 
scramble. And he dives forward. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. He launches one for the end zone. And it's complete for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 45-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Gives it left side. Gets to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a of one yard. That makes it third and 11. yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. From their own 42-yard line, first down. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. Second and two. He gets hit out of bounds around the 41 yard line. First down. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Green pass gets it to the back, and he is drilled at the 22 yard line. That makes it first and 10. ten. First and ten, ball of the 22. him down behind the line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Cowboys. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Down, 
So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-3, Oklahoma State. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Oklahoma State is up by four. And a quick throw. He's tackled in the open field. He might have a chance. He's tackled at the 33. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. And they get nice yardage on that run. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, and he has it on the corner, and down he goes at the 29-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Gets to around the 42. to about the 44-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 44. Go four. Lead eight. Here we go, check and roll. Check and roll. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's good for being three yards. That'll bring up 34. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's at the 30, brought down around the 26-yard line. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play.
from the 26 yard line. First down. Makes it to the 17. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. From the eight yard line, second down. Touchdown, Wisconsin! So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And he's taken down at the 42. Five wide. Will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. They'll bring him down at the 28. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. tries to buy some time slides down to the ground he scrambled and picked up a couple of yards that shows a lot of maturity for a freshman corner to sniff out the run and make that tackle Oklahoma State is up four throws to the back quickly off his hands incomplete third down now and they need to get it to the 18. under pressure and they bring him down for a sack on the play fourth down they're going to try a long field goal here Kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. tight first half of football and we head to the break. Oklahoma State's lead is a touchdown. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way if Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 26. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at about the 41. That makes it first and 10. Try running left. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From the 37 yard line, it's first down. Run right and hit the backfield. yards away here on third down. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 14. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. Runs right for a nice game. 
47 yards. That'll bring up second and And this is the eighth play of the drive. He makes it to the six yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. He did not get to the first down marker. point to tie this game up and he adds the extra point Wisconsin kick this one off nice kick plenty of distance and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And they make the stop around the 34 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 47. yard line. Some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. He makes the PAT. Oklahoma State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both these offenses are stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> You're exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute, put points up. 
And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and help them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Sheds one tackler. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, big play. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Wisconsin is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cowboys have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. So at the end of three, we get a tie game here. Knotted at 24. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. here early in the fourth quarter and a big stop in a tie game. That makes it worth the inches. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. at the 30, gains his way to the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Yeah. 
So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at the five-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. There's the strike complete. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Loose football. It's picked up. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. That makes it third and three. see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter the kick is up and he nails the long field goal and that gives them the lead i know that i call kickers head cases but this kid isn't one it's like he doesn't even feel the pressure he just drills this one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. And he's immediately tackled. Oklahoma State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught out of the open. It's a great tackle. It's the 39-yard line. their own 45-yard line. Third down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. the 39-yard line. It's first down. 
They'll spread the field with five wide. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Under a minute left. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This game now lies squarely on the shoulders of this kicker. If he misses, then this game is all but over. A make, and we're looking at overtime. The kick is away, and it's good! like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Going long. That close to being intercepted. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. Steps out of bounds at the 21 yard line. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. on the extra point. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes around the 14-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Gaining four yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the ten yard line. Second down. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds tackle at about the three yard line first and goal from the two let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here Gets it on the pitch. Touchdown, Badgers! So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. 
That was just a great series. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The tension is going to rise a little bit more now. We'll see which team can overcome the pressure. From the 25-yard line, first down. Quick run, almost intercepted. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Makes it out to about the 13. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the three. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Tackle made at the two. They're at the two. Second down. Touchdown, Wisconsin. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives them some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he adds the extra point. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. This one's going deep to the end zone. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. Can you believe this? It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. First and 10. Ball on the 25. They come out on an empty backfield. He heaves it to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. Oklahoma State is up by six. He's got the two. From the 25-yard line, first down. The Cavalry's coming. Deep pass to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. It doesn't 
seem like anything is enough to put this game away, does it? I can't wait to see what happens on this two-point conversion. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. So just like that, we're again tied up and looking forward to another overtime. And they need to take the field again right now, so we'll see if they can carry the momentum into another scoring opportunity here in overtime. And we're going to another overtime. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Defense and their short yardage package. He's tackled around the two-yard line. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. The kicks up, and it's good. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. Quick out to his receiver. Up down, right around the 12 yard line. fight all the way. These guys walking off the field shouldn't be hanging their heads at all because this was a spectacular game on both sides. But for these young men to pull it out, man, they've got to be elated. So the Badgers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. 